We want to find the product and the division result from these two equations. First, though, I need to get them in the form where I can manipulate them like using these equations. Uh, first off, I need to find r and the angle. For this one, r is going to be root 2 because 1 squared, even though it's i, you can just pretend the coefficient in front of it and use that to find the, the, the magnitude of r. So in this case, it's root 2. Um, so x is 1, y is negative 1, so that means it's going to be 315 degrees for theta. For this one down here, x equals 1, y equals negative root 3. So for this, and, and then, well, for r, it's going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared, which is or square root of 3 squared, and square root of that, which is equal to 2. And theta is going to be equal to... Um, Think here for a second here. Do you say, uh, 300 degrees. Yeah, 300 degrees. I think. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. All right. Z times W is going to be uh, two times root two, and the cosine of 315 plus 300 degrees. Three fifteen plus three hundred, which gives us, of course, two root two, and then uh, six fifteen, and then um, dividing that through by three sixty, we get a result that gives us the equivalent angle of two hundred fifty five degrees. Okay, for z divided by w, we get root 2 divided by 2, and then we get the cosine of 315 minus 300. Yeah, that looks good. Finally, root 2 over 2 times the cosine of 15 degrees plus I sine of 15 degrees. That is it.